Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday and that means Rule Breakers, team number two, is here. Now, I guess EA has never confirmed that we were getting a team number two, but they did tweet out some stuff today. And whenever they post a team and they call it team one, we know that there's most likely a team two coming. So that is what we are expecting today. Rule Breakers, team two, probably another 11 player set of special cards that will go in packs today as of course the rule breakers team one as the screen says here are going out of packs at 6 p.m uk today content drop time should be another decent day should be SBCs. should be objectives we'll take a look at that here in a second uh related to the rule breakers but first we don't have a loading screen yet ea i don't think is giving us a loading screen this time around for set two of rule breakers and i think it's honestly just going to be some sort of leaks on twitter i guess they're like leaking their own cards i guess you could say so without further ado let's take a peek at what we have here on the Twitter machine. We do have two tweets from EA Sports today where they talked about um, what cards are going to be in Rule Breakers today. Now, they might tweet out a couple more things. Maybe they will do a loading screen, but this is all that we have right now. Center attacking mid, German, 80 passing, 80 physical. There are literally so many options for who this could be, whether they're going to like decrease the passing on some on one guy or and then up the physical or if the passing is just going to get a natural upgrade and it's not a it's not about like it's not a card that got downgraded in passing because you know how these rule breakers have had some stats downgraded and then other stats insanely boosted we have no idea who this is there's so many brazilian or sorry german center attacking mids uh draxler brant royce um, Thomas Muller, um, there's other options out there that people are thinking Ozil, of course, is a very, a favorite of who might get this card, but 80 passing and 80 physical on a center attacking mid 80 passing on a cam. I mean, it better be someone who's pretty decent because I mean, we have a solid set of cards for rule breakers team one. It's got to live up to the hype for team two. So I'm not sure who that is. My gut is leaning towards Ozil, I think, but we'll see. And then we have another one here, striker inter. 85 pace, 85 shooting. So I think this is going to be Lukaku, but it technically could be Lukaku or Lautaro Martinez. Um, it could be either of them because they both have lower pace and shooting stats than that. So they could be throwing us off here. EA could be instead of showing us the stats that are like getting massively boosted or slightly decreased. They could just be showing us like I think Lautaro is like 82 pace and 83 shot. They'd be like a normal promo card upgrade, plus two shot, plus three, or plus three shot, plus two pace maybe. So really don't have a ton of information here, but this is all we know so far. We do, of course, have some leaks or leaks. What people said were going to be coming out earlier this week, like Lewandowski did not get into the team of the week because people think he is going to be getting a Rule Breakers card today. A lot of people are asking me, yo, is Rule Breakers number two going to be a better squad than Rule Breakers number one? Now, historically... In promos past, right in FIFA 20 and uh, years past where, the, where it's been a two-week promo, the Team 2 has usually not been as good as the Team 1. And I thought this Team 1 was decent, right? It's decent, not terrible, just nice, right? So hopefully Team 2 is just that good or better, but I don't honestly know if that's going to be the case um, today with the team. It's just feeling like so far for me right now with everything leading up to this, it doesn't feel that hype yet. It does not feel that hype for Rule Breakers Team 2. So hopefully the content is good today. Um, a Lewandowski would obviously be the headliner of this. If this, uh, not that, we'll talk about that in a second. If this is Royce and this is Lukaku, we're looking at Lewandowski, Royce, Lukaku. Uh, and that's a solid starting three, but we need some more players in there to make it decently hype. So of course, a lot of these Rule Breakers from Team 1 have risen up um, as we move towards them being out of packs. I do expect to see a little bit more of that today. I'm a little bit scared on some of the over-investing on just a couple of these cards, namely Andre and Kamara. I know a lot of people really want to invest in these cards, and especially Kamara. A lot of people are buying into him. I still think that he rises, but what I would do is also watch their prices out of the weekend league. See if they drop off at all from whatever content comes out today on Friday. Maybe you see them drop, and it could be a possible reinvestment time after uh, the week and they sell off. We see that often with team of the weeks, right? They rise up a little bit after they go out of packs on a Wednesday. Then they drop in the week and they sell off. Like Kyle Walker is a great example. He was uh, 380, went up at rewards uh, as he went out of packs, then went down in the week and they sell off in the 380 range again, and then boomed the next week. Usually the, the second week 
for informs and some, for some promo cards too out of packs is when they really go boom. So I'll watch these cards in the weekly sell off uh, as we do get the new cards today. But again, today for content wise, right, we're probably going to be getting another SBC. Uh, last week on Friday, what we saw was the we had the player pick SBC option for Inaki Williams, which is going to be expiring today at 6 p.m. Uh, we had the dribbling version, of course, and we had the uh, shooting version. So if you have another SBC and you want to, could we get another one of these today? That'd be dope, right? That'd be awesome if we got another uh, SBC like this, maybe sort of like a midfielder, where in instead of dribbling and shooting, maybe you got passing or defense or fa passing or physical maybe as your boost. That'd be pretty interesting if they gave us one of those today. So that'll be, uh, I do expect some sort of SBC. We got three SBC players last week. I would expect another one today, probably two more for the second week of the promo would make sense to me. So hopefully we have a good SBC player today. Um, we could still possibly see some sort of content related to Halloween uh, because of course uh, today I believe is Halloween, the 30th, right? So uh, we probably will see some sort of content related to Halloween. Now, right now in the game, we only have objectives, uh, but there is one little promo screen here that says stadium items are in packs, Halloween and Day of the Dead stadium items in packs for a limited time. And we do have objectives related to that that were released yesterday. Um, we have the Mad Science objectives where you can get the pitch trophy, Mad Science, uh, the Mad Science objective basically, which gets you, gets you the Witch's Cauldron um pitch trophy so nice but uh i would expect more of this stuff today probably some sort of sbc whether it's a pack sbc or um maybe a kit sbc related to halloween as well and then do i think we get another player objective i think it's possible but i'm not entirely sure because i think this is a full two-week promo but we'll, we'll we'll see they actually haven't said if rule breakers team two is only going to be for a couple days or if it's going to be for a full week so this expires in four days. That almost makes me think that it could possibly be a short promo, but uh, maybe we'll get we will get another objective rule breaker player today. Uh, it would be a nice grind for that'd be pretty cool as well. So again, it's a normal promo Friday in the terms of in the sense of we're going to be getting more promo cards and packs. We're going to be getting um, probably an SBC player, possibly an objective player, more objectives. One thing that we got. Uh, entered into the code tonight was this pack design that I showed you just a couple seconds ago over on um, Twitter. This is from Footwatch. And what this is, uh, people think that this could be the League SBC card, or they're also thinking that this could be the card design for milestone slash objectives. Milestone slash objectives could be what this card design is for. And since it was added to the code last night, um, I'm not entirely sure what this is going to be. We might see, I don't know if you guys remember last year, we had like the Politano that was in objectives under the milestone section. So we might see the beginning of these, uh, today if EA is going to drop that. So that's one thing that we might see just a little bit of a, a point there that that car design for me isn't super duper hyped. And I don't think it's league SBCs because there are uh, a lot of, there was already a league SBC card that was leaked or, or shown, I believe. So I don't think that is actually the league SBC card, but let's talk about the market. What could happen today? Now, of course, a lot of cards have gone up. I'm going to go over to Footbin for this one. A lot of cards have gone up a lot already. We had some interesting price range updates. Right now, Renato Sanchez did get a price range update to 240,000 coins. He's getting panic sold right now. Um, and honestly, what I might expect with a card like this and some of the other ones that got price range updates are... Uh, if they're in forms, a little bit of panic selling and then possibly a rise in the morning UK time on Friday today. A um, couple hours after you watch this video, there might be a little bit of extra panic selling in the morning as people try to sell their investments. But then after that, you might actually see this card rise because people are going to wake up. They haven't been able to buy this card for like a week or so, and they're going to have an opportunity to do that. So at some point, the panic selling is going to stop and it is going to rebound. But just how high can that card go? What are people willing to pay for this round of Sanchez is the big question. But uh, that's kind of its own situation. A lot of the market is up. It really is, right? Pogba was 185 before rewards. The weekend league rewards market really pushed this stuff up, and especially some of the French players that we talked about too. Varane went from 270 to 330. Conte's over 400. Uh, some of the really high tier meta players are up a lot as well. Mbappe, Ronaldo, Mane is up a decent amount. Some of the some players were stagnant though, right? 
Uh, where's Alan? Alan's 51,000 coins. He really didn't move much. I think there was some over investing there on some stuff. And we're going to start to see that with gold cards as we go further and further into the year at rewards time. We're going to start to see more of that over investing. Now, some of the low tier market really did not rebound today at all, like it did last week after the supply of rewards. Uh, I just honestly think that the, the demand for guys like Rodrigo, Adama, uh, and maybe somebody like Millie Tao, even that demand is just starting to to go down. It's just not as much demand for that stuff anymore um, because it is low rated and people are moving on past those items. But again, the higher tier market, a lot of stuff that was very meta did rise up a lot today. Sterling was like 94K before rewards. Obviously he's up a decent amount. So if you did buy Thursday flips and you bought meta stuff or out of packs informs did really well today too. This is an area where we're gonna start to look even more now on um, Thursday flipping is looking at these cards, right? Lewandowski's supposedly getting a card today. He was 245 midweek, went up all the way over 300, 320 today. Um, St. Maximin's up like 50, 60K. Holland went up a little bit today because of the German center attacking mid. People thinking Brandt and Royce, he went up a bit for that. This card's up like 25,000 coins. This card's up like 10K from where he was before rewards. Uh, so we're definitely gonna watch these cards. Uh, even today, what, there could be a little bit of panic selling headed into the content drop. Uh, but what I would honestly wait for is just wait for the content drop to come out. Uh, we might have the servers break again. Who knows? We might have the servers break. Hopefully it's not week two of server breakers. Hopefully it's just rule breakers. Um, but I would expect maybe some dropping prices on some of these cards today, out of packs and forms, and just cards across the game as well. Some of these popular ones, you know, very meta items people are using. You might see them drop off a little bit headed into the content drop. If it's a gold card in packs, you might see it get supplied, of course, as we normally do. Uh, and of course, watch watch out for panic selling on cards that are out of packs. Guys like um, like Joe Gomez is out of packs right now because he's got an inform, of course. Um, that'd be like the biz biggest example I could give you. But if, even if a card today gets a rule breaker that's a very meta item, like let's just give a random example. Let's say, let's say De Young. Well, he's not super meta. Let's say like, Let's say Ben Yedder gets a rule breaker today or something like that, and he his gold card goes out of packs. That would be something to watch if there's panic selling on a card like that. Some people think Havertz might be the, the Germans that are attacking mid item. I guess it's possible, but I don't know if I would think that just based on the fact that he just got a once to watch. So we will see. But also, ones to watches today on Friday are going to be a great thing to keep an eye on. If there's any panic selling on these, some of them are already up. Suarez was like 115. Now he's 125. Bale's down after the Spurs game yesterday. The, a lot of these guys are playing on Saturday. So definitely keep an eye out for some of these cards as they will start to rise up into Saturday. They do have games. Um, Havertz is already up a little bit. Sané is up a decent amount right now. Uh, these cards are like great to fluctuation trade with on the weekly. So just keep an eye out for these as well. And if there's any panic selling, definitely take a look at that today. So again, what I would expect though, and where you might be able, if you're on a higher budget to put your coins today is there is gonna be promo packs per usual, right? And one thing we always see with promo packs is some supply at the 59th minute for icons and even for cards on the market, but icons especially, basic icon filter. This is something that I haven't done too much this year just because I don't have that many coins yet. This is one of my favorite ways to trade on Promo Fridays, man, is get the basic icon filter during lightning rounds. I don't think there'll be lightning rounds today, probably just promo packs. Uh, I feel, still feel like it's too early for lightning rounds, but getting on that 59th minute with the basic filter is gonna be finding you cards that just got packed that people are gonna be listing up and sometimes they list way too cheap. Um, and icons just rebound really well. There's a little bit of panic selling in the morning because people panic sell icons because they're expensive. They wanna go try a new promo card, um, but they buy a lot of them back in the evening as well as they get packs and they open packs, they get coins from those packs and then go buy their weekly teams. And there's a lot of demand after you know six, seven, eight, nine p.m. UK time just for the start of the weekend league. So definitely watch out for that tonight. There will be an opportunity to buy a lot of cards. And then of course, with these rule breaker cards, the new set that come out, whether or not we have like the whole server outages again and that stuff happening, they will reach a low point late on Friday night where a lot of them will probably re rebound into Saturday. And we'll be talking about that on the video tomorrow a little bit. Maybe some cards that we'll wanna watch for. Um, the most hyped ones, the ones that I think could rebound the most. We will definitely be talking about in that in tomorrow's video alongside with um, how the market maybe reacted yesterday and how maybe you can make some coins 
into Saturday as well. So again, if you were playing weekly this weekend, good luck, GGs or GLs, not GGs. Um, I packed a bomb yang tonight from Weekend League Rewards. So my first Weekend League that I actually finished, I was rewarded by EA Sports with a tradable pack pull of 235k. That was dope. So that was really cool to see and really cool to have. But again, new rule breakers cards today will create some market movements overall. Hopefully we get like a prem right mid, right wing. We really need one of those. That's a big hole to fill. There's not a lot of special cards there. And hopefully we just get a really hype team of set two cards. Hopefully no server crashes, hopefully some fun SBCs, objectives, and just an all overall good promo Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.